So today we're back in the long drive with our hardcore survival and you know what? The rules have changed. If I die at any point in this series, I am going to end it. So come with me as we continue our journey and see what we find here because there's going to be a couple surprises that I think you guys are going to like. So stay tuned until the end, hit that thumbs up button and let's jump in. Oh my goodness, I think my radiator is overheating. Oh, uh, hi guys. Welcome back to the long drive where Komodo has made many, many mistakes here. I'm trying to clean this thing does that even work oh my goodness am i gonna have to go get a ride so yeah uh we have the new stipulation as uh, said in the intro about the whole fact that if i die this series ends <laughs> well Hopefully you guys enjoyed the first episode and probably the last episode. Oh my goodness. Okay, we need to go find some supplies here. Actually, you know what? Maybe we need to check the radiator there. Does it have water in it? Is is that what I missed? No, it's got water. Oh my goodness, it holds 20 liters and I only have 3.7 in there. Oh, also you guys like my bacon trunk? Ha ha. All right, well, thankfully, oh, wait, this is water, right? This isn't fuel. Okay, yeah, this is water. Um, all right, let's go ahead and try to fill this up real quick. Uh, let's see if maybe this will help. So yeah, as stated last episode, we do have, uh oh, I hear a bunny. I'm not dying via bunny. Oh my goodness. Go, 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 go. Crank it, go. Oh, there it is right in front of us. Hold on, you know what? We're getting revenge here. Come on. Uh, uh. Did... Okay, my radiator just popped out. Um, <laughs> I kind of need that. Uh, let's put that back in. All right, so we know not to hit stuff. But yeah, as I was saying uh, last episode, uh, the mods that I have in, it makes it to where the cars deteriorate. So we'll definitely have to stay on top of our maintenance here. And then, of course, we had the hardcore start, which actually wasn't that bad. Why did my door come off? Oh, my goodness. I haven't even, like, moved like 20 feet so far. So yeah, as I was saying, uh, the car will deteriorate. So we have that. Uh, the hardcore start actually wasn't that bad. I mean, we got lucky and found a garage almost immediately with a car. Uh, that was usable, so uh, that didn't really count. Uh, still haven't played with the mutants too much. We ran into one last episode, but they are uh, definitely stronger, so I need to find a good weapon. Uh, so hopefully we'll find that in one of the stops that's coming up here. But you know what? Eyes on the road. Also, Maxwell, the cat. I need to find the cat. I haven't seen that thing in a while, too. Okay, so there's a tower stop to the left side. But the road goes, you know, I'm going to stay on the road for now. Uh, we got a good bit of gas. We're over half a tank. So it's not like that's going to be a problem. Now the vehicle overheating. Oh, my goodness. What was that? Uh, there's a person in a uh, VW that's really angry. Hold on. Uh, there's a chance they're going to hit this rock over here. <laughs> Wait for it. Nope. <laughs> uh, I love that the AI is stupid. But yeah, for the most part, I, I want to avoid contact with the AI characters, even though they sometimes will appear right in front of you and go flying about 50 feet in the sky. Uh, it's kind of annoying. Also, this guy, something's weird about the steering on this vehicle. It feels like uneven. Every time I press the gas, it like darts off in one direction. Uh, I wouldn't mind finding a, a nicer vehicle. Like, I feel like that would be fun too. Uh, also, the AI are attempting to kill each other up there. Uh, yep, you got two taxi cabs going to war. Uh, must be trying to pick up all them non-existent customers, right? So I got a real quick question. If I wear sunglasses, does it actually eliminate that glare? I don't even remember if that's a thing. Like, there's sunglasses. Isn't. Oh, here we go. All right, so we have a house there, but I could have swore I just saw... Okay, so there's a building... Oh, both of those might have mutants in it. There's one of the little white buildings uh, that's normally a decent stop. Uh, we really need to get some supplies. I got plenty of bacon in the back, but I need some more water. Uh, obviously, we use most of that up. I'm hoping... Does that... Oh, I think this one actually has... Uh, uh, I want to say maybe a sink or something in there, like a water spigot. Uh, so let's go ahead and we'll stop here. I'll just be on the lookout. Oh my goodness, I really wish I had a gun right now. Okay, do we see a mutant in there? Uh, I see a car flying by. Let's cross the road. Hello? Um, seems kind of quiet. Well, there's a hand poking up out of the ground. Uh, maybe there's no mutants? Uh, this is probably a good place to stop for the night. Um... Okay, look around. You seem clear. What's that over there? Oh, I thought I saw something bright. I think uh, the cacti is being lit up by one of the poles. Uh, I wish I had a shovel. We could break apart some of these boxes. Is there anything in here? Hold on, listen. Any, anybody talking? That oh, sounds pretty quiet. All right, I think we're safe to go in here. Okay, so we'll go in here. I see what appears to be a tank. Uh, anything loose in here that I can grab? Hold on. Both lights. There we go. Uh, okay. There's several canisters in here. We got a new door that would probably fit on our vehicle. Ooh. Okay. Nothing. Ooh, more bacon. Oh my goodness. This game has just been throwing bacon at me. Uh, I like it. I'm not even hungry. I I've got so much bacon. Hold on. We'll just 
Uh, season that in the sand a little bit. Uh, I need to break these bad boys open. We'll just use this. And, uh, that is a tank. Uh, please have water in it. Is this water? Uh, it is. Oh, it's gas. Uh, that's almost 10 more liters of gas. Uh, we might as well just go ahead and put it in. Actually, you know what? Maybe we'll keep this as a spare. I, I still have... Wait, did I keep the can? I feel like I got rid of the can. No, I did keep it. I'm not that dumb. Uh, it's kind of weird. Like, my mentality about the items I have has changed since we went to more of, like, a hardcore setting. Uh, so, yeah, we need to keep this. We'll put fuel into here because I can't fit that in the back. And I didn't actually activate the attach mod like I used to have. Like, I want this to be a little harder. So, here we go. Uh-oh. I hear a rabbit. I hear... Where's... Oh, I think it's across the street. Huh? Okay. Kind of spooky. All right, we got to break open the rest of this stuff. <clears throat> Flashlight. There we go. What is... Wait, what is that? Oh, headlights. Wait, do I have headlights? I have headlights. It was my other vehicle that didn't have headlights. Okay. Uh, not anything great there. Binoculars are kind of useless if you have your draw distance really high. Uh, let's see. Another headlight. Okay, well, I'm going to take some certain items. Like, I mean, the binoculars not great, but I'll stick them in the back. You know, I really wish you had, like, traders in the game. Like, say you find decent loot, you have the chance to go, like, sell it. I don't know what the lore is as far as, like, where is everybody. I mean, obviously, you've got mutants everywhere. Uh, there's a red light way out there. I'm gonna ignore that. I uh, haven't run into a UF UFO yet. I remember that was the thing where it was really rare, and then they became really common, and then now they've disappeared once again. Well, let's do a fit check here. I want to say that this door might actually go on here. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't fit. Uh, we're gonna try it, though. Uh, can I mount this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I like the rusty door better. All right, well, I guess we're going to go ahead and uh, call it a night. We will resume in the morning. I'm going to go ahead and clean my vehicle up a little bit, too. I have the wire brush, so I should be able to get some of this rust off. Uh, but, yeah, we'll resume in the morning, and we'll see what tomorrow brings us. All right, on check before merging. We are clear. All right, so uh, I really need to clean up more of this vehicle. I got a couple things cleaned up on it, uh, but we need more supplies. I I'd love to find a diner stop. I feel like that would be great. Also, there is Maxwell's in the world somewhere. Uh, I would love to find me a nice kitty to uh, ride with me. Uh, that would be great. Uh, all right, avoid rocks. Uh, those actually equal death you know i should install the mod that at least eliminates the uh the road rocks because <laughs> those they will sneak up on you and it would end a series in a matter of like two seconds okay we got another tower to the left side you know what? we're gonna risk it so the thing i notice about tower stops you typically see one of two vehicles there if you get a vehicle it's either the diesel or it's a bus. Uh, it just seems to be a common thing. It's not too far off the road, so I don't feel bad about checking it out. Now, you do sometimes, I believe, get mutants over here, too. And uh, we're still not equipped to actually fight those. Come on, vehicles load in. Anything? Anything? Come on. Wait, something loaded up on the other side, but I don't think we actually got a vehicle in this stop. Uh, look around. Some liquids up there. There is a mutant in here. We do not want to play with this right now. Uh Yep, he's already spotted me. He said, there you are. We're going to go this way. Uh, I am not stopping there yet. Uh, I know a lot of people are probably going, well, Komodo, it's just a mutant. Uh, like I said before, we have tough mutants. It is a mod that has been enabled. It makes them super mutants. And yeah, uh, unless we have a gun with plenty of ammo, I don't want to actually mess with them at the moment. I mean, it's fine, though. Look at us. I mean, we got full tank well i mean half a tank of fuel plenty of uh water in the radiator i would like to find a little bit more uh let's just play it safe for now i don't want to die yet oh what just happened uh that bus just wrapped around the uh pole there and <laughs> i almost didn't avoid it okay keep going oh my goodness uh, yeah, the AI, you'll notice, like, the whole time I'm driving off the road, I'm following it, but I'm, I'm staying off it, and that is actually on purpose. Uh, <laughs> I know how many times I've had to reload saves because AI appears in front of me and murders me. Uh, we have a gas station up here. Chancer's a mutant. Oh, wait. It's another station over there. Is that the garage? No, I think that's a station. Okay. Uh, this is a good place. Oh my goodness. Why does this thing not go forward? I need a new tire. Uh, one of my tires is really rusty. Uh, new tire. We need one of those big V8 motors. Uh, actually, we probably don't need a V8 motor. All right, hold on. Is there anything in here? Mutants, mutants, mutants. There is a foot sticking out of that box. Oh, well, there's a tire there too. Okay. Good stop. Good stop. Hold on. Just check around. Anything? Hmm? No, there's a sled. <laughs> Uh, you guys want to go bomb this hill behind us? I mean, it kind of goes downhill. Uh, could we get to the next stop over there? There's a gas station. Uh, looks like the road does go to the right, though. There's something floating in the air way out there. 
Honestly, it kind of looks like a UFO, but I don't think it's moving. All right, what is in here? Well, we got a new tire. Uh, this is nice tread compared to what I have. Is it this one? Oh, yeah. You know, I've been wondering why I've been spinning out. Uh, I have all good tires except for this one. This one looks really bad. Okay, here, just take this one off. Here we go. And we are just going to mount that. All right, so uh, we should have a little bit better traction. Hold on, let's break open this other box. I feel like this other box just has human parts in it. Um, there was a foot. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Well, our prayers just got answered. We have it. We have the Maxwell cat. Oh, my goodness, it was just sitting here. <laughs> yeah, I expected to actually see it in the box. I know you guys, you have to hit the thumbs up button for that. There's probably so many people have been waiting for that. They're like, where's Maxwell at? Well, you know what? We have found the kitty. Okay, Maxwell, I'm going to try not to get us murdered during this. Uh, you sat there. I need to go check and see what's in that box. Uh, maybe some cat food. Oh, what's in here? Uh, a little bit more gas. I can always use more containers. Stick that right there. Uh, okay. Um, I'm pretty sure this is just... Oh, hold on. Let's grab maybe the flashlight to do this. This looks like it might just be body parts. Yep, I have confirmed. Oh, it's just a body part. Okay. All right, everything else seems to be uh, pretty standard here. Let's go ahead and grab this. Uh, okay, I haven't checked. Do I need to eat? Um, I didn't realize my character is extremely hungry right now. I forgot you have to poop in the game. Uh, on, let's go ahead and pee. Oh my goodness, I really had to pee. That is aggressive. Uh, I don't even remember how to poop. How do I poop in the game? Oh. All right. There we go. Yep. Inappropriate noises. Um, we do not need to eat that. That actually hurts us. I got more bacon. Uh, we got a bit of an issue though. I need water. That is not water in there, by the way. Um, jeez. Oh my. Okay. All right. So we can eat bacon, but bacon is salty. So that's not going to help our water situation. What is in here? Can I drink this? It's alcohol and water. I mean, technically, does this... Oh, no, I think the alcohol might actually deplete the, the water portion. See how the water meter, like, goes up a little bit? Yeah, this is useless. Uh, hey, you got some water on you? Guy yeah, just passes by, doesn't even give me a look. Okay, well, that ought to be our uh, number one priority here. Ooh, maybe we should have stopped back in one of those stops that has... Oh, you know what? The tower stop had a water spigot, but... Yeah, the mutant was standing. Probably, I actually think the mutant was standing on the side that does have the water. I probably shouldn't do that. Uh, we'll probably get a, another stop here really soon. At least we have food. I don't know how quick or how long it takes before the dehydration sets in and you start losing health. Uh, well, I think we just answered that. I think part of my health just went down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I like how that happened all of a sudden. All right, we really need to find some water. Uh, hopefully, I've got one of the gas containers back here. I can empty it and pour water in it. So I'm hoping we find a big source of water. I also just noticed we're uh, we're close to day five of survival here. I mean, that's pretty good, right? <laughs> I feel like I'm actually like legit playing the game again. Uh, pretty much in the last of my series, like last time, when we had the big series going on, I wasn't playing half the time. It was just like, hey, let's check out some mods. Let's, you know, put together a fun vehicle. But there really was no survival element anymore. It was like, oh, I hit a pole. Let me just reload my save. Now that the stakes are much higher, like I'm being way more careful than I used to be. You guys ought to be proud of me. I haven't, well, actually, I take that back. I spun out a couple times earlier. But ever since we got all the good tires, I haven't spun out. I, I've been driving, I would say, fairly decent. So how many days do you guys think I'm going to make it before I die? Comment down below. I'll be curious to see the responses. Somebody's going to say, like, day five, and I'm going to die at the end of the episode. So real quick, I would go to sleep, but I think I need to find water because that's going to accelerate time even more, and I'm going to continue to lose health here. So probably not a good idea. Is that headlights coming up behind us? That look creepy. Oh, it's a police officer. All right. Yeah, we definitely don't want to get involved with one of those right now. Uh, they are super aggressive and they will murder you. Uh, looking for... Oh, that might be a stop there. Or there that's a big rock. I need to find some water like ASAP. Folks, what are all these? Are those all lights of the road? Oh, I guess they are. They're all like flickering up there. It looks kind of creepy, actually. Uh, still looking for another spot. Like normally I don't... Oh, no. Oh, my good... Why did we just stop there all of a sudden? That was strange. Uh, okay, I almost killed myself with the pole. Uh, let's not do that. Okay, there's gotta be a stop up here. I feel like it's been a while since we've seen one. Uh, there's about, actually, I think I, I might see one way up the road. All right, we need to get off the road here. We're not fast at all. 
Uh, this vehicle really needs some good upgrades. I like to find another engine. Like, I feel like this one's already rusty, and I have to go back and look at the deteriorating parts. Like, I wonder if it gets worse. Wait a minute. Right side. Uh, mutants? No. Man, that is a rusted out diesel. If that was in good shape, I would actually consider taking one of those. Those things are tanks. Uh, let's just pull up here on just AI's passing by. Is that cop red? He looked red. Okay. Let's go see if we can find some water here. Uh, at least there's no mutants. Uh, it's gas. Come on, where's the water at? Uh, maybe this has got water in it? No, that's an oil gas mixture. Come on, water, water, water. Uh, oil. What is up with this? Why am I not finding any water here? Oh, I was going to check to see if maybe there was a radiator in this thing. This thing is completely gone. You'd have to completely rebuild it in order to get it running. All right, well, we're uh, still screwed. I do believe I see another dot up there that might be another stop along the road, but it has been a bust so far. Is that an oil tank? Oh, there's an oil tanker way out there. Probably shouldn't do that at night. Uh, all right, let's just keep going here. My good... Oh! <laughs> he goes <laughs> I saw that police car coming up so fast and I was like oh I bet you he's gonna hit something he hit a rock and he catapulted himself uh, probably about a hundred feet in the air that's why folks I don't drive in the road half the time uh, for some reason rocks in the desert are easier to avoid than in the roadway for I mean at least personally uh, that's how I feel it oh here we go mutants 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 no mutants uh, I see a box is that a box halfway in the ground? You know, ever since we started the new save, I've noticed a lot more of those. Am I safe pulling over on the side of the road like this, or am I going to get obliterated by something? Hold on, let's just walk over here. Uh, okay, um, can I break this? Oh, oh, I can break it open, but I don't know if there was anything in there. You've got to be kidding me. Man, it, my, uh, my game is all of a sudden really stingy. Uh, that was diesel. Uh, that's alcohol. I have... Oh, I don't need cigarettes. I don't think it's going to help my cause any. Um, there is an air freshener. Hold on. Let's check the bus schedule. Um, yeah, I understand what this is. Is this actually a language or is this gibberish? Like, some of this looks like... I know this is actually probably somebody's language and I just offended them. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. This... This isn't good. You know, I actually kind of enjoy this. Like, this feels like a survival game again. Um, yeah, we, uh, we're not in good shape. Wait a minute. Wait. But, oh, oh, and I hear rabbit. Oh, get in the car real quick. I got a plan. So if you're desperate for water, there's two things you can do. You can break open cacti, which that's kind of slow and boring. Or we could block the roadway and I can drink radiator water. So yeah, all we got to do is have a vehicle. Oh, speaking of, uh, do you have a traditional radiator? Oh, oh slow down, slow down, buddy. Hey, hey, uh, I, need to, uh, I need to take something from your vehicle. Do you have a traditional? Oh, no, these don't have those. Okay, you can proceed. Actually, you know what? You're doing a good job of blocking for me. Also, uh, I forgot the whole fact that I added people. It's no longer pumpkins. It's a mod. It's kind of creepy because they have the deadest stare I've ever seen. You know, not gonna lie, I kind of miss the pumpkins. Okay, we probably shouldn't be standing in the roadway. All right, you can uh, you can go. Here, here, I'll help you. Here, here you go. Get out of the roadway. There you go. All right, now take off, buddy. All right, we'll block the next one. You know, somebody's probably yelling at me. Just go break open a cacti. No, I know what I'm doing. I, I want a big glass of water. I don't want to have to break 50 of these things. I don't know if they're more effective or more efficient now than they used to be. There's also an oil tanker up there. I guess we could have went up there. Huh? Do I see anything ahead of us? No, I, I don't see any stops, at least uh, not beyond this little mountain or big hill in front of us. So, oh, really? Did you come back? No, this is definitely a different person, I think. The last one was kind of purple. Uh, why don't y'all have hair? All right. You know what? Don't have time. Please get out the way. Come on. We got to wait for the next person here. Oh, my goodness. Can't you vehicle get out of the roadway? Just go that way. There you go. Uh, don't hit my vehicle on the way. No, I don't want to ride. I actually think they're waiting for me to get in the vehicle. No, I, I don't want to ride. You you can leave. Do you need assistance? Did I miss a, I missed a vehicle because of you. Get out of here. Well, now technically you can't go. <laughs> Wait, I like how they're looking back. It's like they have shocked face that I got rid of their engine. Hey, wake up. Uh, you okay? Wait, it's almost as if the person is tied to the vehicle. I removed the engine. I think I murdered the person. Um, wait, hold on. Are you going to follow? Wait, are you following this? No, you're not. 
Okay, well, that's creepy. Um, we'll wait for another vehicle. It's fine. Oh, would you look at that? Ooh, I really wish I could steal vehicles from the A. Hey, slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Really? Okay, you know, it's fine. Uh, all right. Um, hey, you. Can I take this? Oh, this is this has water in it. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. There we go. We got a nice taste of water. You know what's bad? I'm going to eat a piece of bacon and completely ruin this. Ah, there we go. Finally, I drank your radiator water. Hold on. Do you... Okay, you're looking at me. Do you break when I do this too? Yep. Oh, and I put it back in. Okay, you know what? That is creepy. We're, we're going to leave. Uh, we got what we came for. Uh, let's... Get moving and see if we can find another stop here. <laughs> yeah, that is really weird that when you disconnect the motor, they just freeze. Um, yeah. I don't know what to think about that. It's as if the humans and the cars are tied together. I know that's like probably not lore friendly, it's just something in the mod, but could you imagine? Wait, does that mean that I'm tied to the vehicle? So if the vehicle dies, I die? I didn't think about that. You know what? I'm probably thinking too much. Let's just keep driving here. Oh my goodness, I see a stop up here. I'm not gonna say what I think it is. Well, actually, no, I'm gonna go ahead and say, I was that a diner? <gasps> yes, we are saved as long as there's no mutants here. This is the perfect stop here. It's a mixture of having vehicles, having tons of supplies, a water source. This is great, unless there's a mutant in here, then it's not so great. Wait, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, well, you know what this means, folks. Like, <laughs> we got to go with it. Hold on. Let, let's inspect it. Maxwell, please keep the uh, the car safe. Hold on. Do we hear any mutants? I don't hear anything. Also, why did all these boxes explode? Hello? Anything around here? Uh, I think we're fine. Hold on. Look inside. Any mutants? I I'm actually, I'm so happy right now. It's the Fury, okay? We got a fairly decent looking V8 here. That's why I kept uh, fuel in the back we could swap to this uh there's probably some oil back here hold on let's check the tank uh the tank has oil so if i could find a hose uh we could siphon this oil out and put it in the front i do have technically the fury tires are the white walls uh we got one good i think i have three white wall tires i could easily swap over to this fury like it would be no problem and we would be reunited with probably the best car in the game actually you know i'm gonna go ahead and say it this is the best car in, uh, in the game. What do you guys think? Should we take uh, the Fury? Like, that is the perfect spawn. I am so happy right now. Uh, also, looks like we got some good bit of cleaning supplies in here. Is that? Okay, that's gas. Uh, I got a lot of things I could break open. Probably go up top. Uh, oh, man. And would you look at that? There is a hose in here. Okay, so we can definitely siphon out the oil. Even though I don't think it's necessary, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be an oil can around here. Uh, but what do you guys think? I, I know for me, it's a no-brainer, but do we take the Fury to continue this hardcore survival? Uh, so there's a probably a, a much higher chance that we die in this thing because it's way faster. Uh, we wanna make sure we definitely get good tires on it. But we're gonna leave it off here. Let me know what you guys think. We'll see you guys next time.